Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. We are going to discuss today a new topic that is limit and derivatives. So, what is limit? That we will discuss first, and thereafter we will discuss derivative as well. So, limit is uh, something uh, which is uh, described in terms of uh, some constant value, and uh, let us describe what is the limit. First of all, we can say that uh, consider this topic is let me write as topic limit limit is what this is the topic now limit is what so suppose we have a function fx is equal to x square now if i calculate the value of x at 0 then it will be 0 but slightly more than 0 that say 0 0.1 then it will be 0 0.01 if I took slightly uh, more value than this, as 0 0.11, then it will be um, a square edge 0 0.0121 like this. These are closure value to 0. Similarly, if I took uh, f of 0 0.9, then value will be 0 0.81. This is. If I took 0 0.99, then value will be 1999 then value will be 0 0.9801 so these are all closure value on number line system if i draw a number line system here and this is a zero say then this is a zero point something 0 0.01 is also uh, here something very closer to this the very closer to this so value can be very near to zero that is not exactly zero but very near to zero these are very near to zero so values are approaching towards zero not exactly zero and that is in limit we can say when x tends to zero if the value of fx x tends to zero when x approaches to zero value of fx is zero the when x tends to 0, value of fx is also 0. It means we will put here in place of x there is an 0. That is basically described as in this way that limit called x tends to 0, fx is equal to x square tends to 0. Because in place of x, we will put 0. So, value of fx is 0. So, that is nothing else but uh, wherever there is an x we will put it equal to 0. So, 0 fx is equal to 0. That means we can say at x is equal to 0, 0 square which is 0 and this will be the answer of this. So, here value of fx is 0 but 0 can be approached in two way either from left side this is because this is a 0 slightly lesser than 0 and uh, that one is slightly more than 0. So, 0 can be approached from either side, right now, that is minus, if I took it uh, negative because left of that is negative and right of that is positive. So, the value can be approached from either this side or this side, both the sides. So, when value approaches from left side, then this limit is described as left hand limit and left hand limit is called this is called a left hand limit left hand limit and it meaning is the value approaches to left hand limit and the meaning is value approaches to zero that can be described as limit x tends to zero minus means slightly lesser than zero fx that will be zero Similarly, RHL means right hand limit. The value can approach from right hand side also. So, that is described as right hand limit. I am just explaining this not mathematical but very simple way just to uh, understand the students of class 11th. It is not so mathematical but right hand limit. So, right is what? 0. Slightly more than 0 will be the right side. This is the right side, you know and this is the left side so left side so zero can be approached from either left side or right side so here limit can be approached from right hand side 
in that case also it will be zero so when the rhl and lhl exist for certain value then we can say when lhl lhl left hand limit and right hand limit are equal left hand limit and right hand limit are equal then we say that limit exist limit exist limit exists right exists suppose uh, some let us uh, discuss some other examples as well a function is given as fx is equal to mod of x right where x is not equal to 0 when we put x slightly more than 0 then graph of this function can be plotted like let us uh, plot the graph of this function fx is equal to mod of x and that can be written like this graph will be like this isn't it so graph of the function will be like this let me draw this graph of the function will be like this right and uh, fx h but it is defined if the function is defined like this that fx is not equal to 0 that is not allowed for x is equal to 0 in that case what will happen this is and uh, let, let me draw this and uh, this is not defined for 0 it means here there must be a 0 for 0 there must be it is not defined so that will be back but slightly left of 0 and slightly right of 0 you can see this this is not defined here so here for 0 it is not defined right for 0 it is not defined here is a 0 a origin and slightly right than origin that is a origin slightly right than origin and slightly left than origin it is very closely to 0 and therefore the limit which is approaches towards 0 from right hand side and from left hand side isn't it from right hand side it can approaches to 0 then it is called right hand limit from left hand side if it is approaches to 0 it is called left hand side so value will be approaches to 0 towards left hand side and towards right hand side as well i hope you got it So this can be expressed as okay. so here uh, we can say the limit x tends to 0 limit can be also uh, written in short form lt x tends to 0 f of x is equal to mod x and that is approximately equal to 0 so 0 is called limiting value here 0 is called limiting value 0 is called limiting value limiting value of the function limiting value of the function function you can understand uh, some other examples as well uh, i can deal with some other examples where uh, this can be described like Suppose a sequence is given here like uh, a n is a sequence and uh, this is described as like 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4, 1 by 5 and this sequence there will be 1 by 100 something isn't it? The sequence is going to decrease successively but can you say if you want to draw it on number line system you will say that the sequence is approaches towards 0. The first sequence is here, this is 0 and if 1 is here, then 1 by 2 is there, then 1 by 4 is here something, 1 by 400 is something here, 1 by 1000 is something here, 1 by 10,000. But can you say that function, wherever, however the denominator is increased, it cannot go towards negative side, means the sequence is approaches towards 0. 
we can say the sequence age approaches towards this a n is tending towards zero and zero is the limiting value zero is the limiting value which cannot go beyond this this is called limiting value of x limiting value of sequence sequence a n right now limiting value of sequence n it cannot go beyond this it cannot be in negative side it is very closer to zero but not exactly zero however the denominator increase suppose denominator is 9 8 9 8 8 9 9 6 5 4 3 like this whatever the number is it is very very closer to zero but not exactly zero this is what the meaning of limit that it is approaches to zero x approaches to zero but x is not exactly zero so we can insert define as limit is if fx limit x tends to a the value is l then l is called limiting value of function l is called limiting value of function limiting value of function limiting value of fx limiting value of fx value of fx right but l must be finite l must be finite right now finite and finite and well defined and defined finite and defined defined right now l must be finite and defined determinate determinate right now it can't be indeterminate what is the meaning of indeterminate i am saying the indeterminate function indeterminate means we have to avoid the function will have suppose x tends to a then we will put the value of x because x is very closer to a so we will put when limit x tends to a fx is equal to fa provided by putting x is equal to a in fx function do not have do not have indeterminate value indeterminate value indeterminate value what is that indeterminate value so indeterminate values are indeterminate forms form are like 0 by 0 right now 0 by 0 infinity by infinity 1 to the power infinity right now 0 to the power infinity infinity to the power 0 0 into infinity these are few indeterminate forms and we should avoid them right now infinity minus infinity that is also possible that is not it so we have to uh, avoid all these things right now g1 to the power infinity 0 to the power infinity infinity to the power 0 0 multiply by infinity right and infinity minus infinity like these are few things which we have to avoid right now so so these are seven indeterminate forms these are seven indeterminate forms indeterminate forms indeterminate forms of function or we should avoid it we should avoid it avoid them avoid them right and then we can put the value of function otherwise we can put the value by putting the value if such any one of these seven will come then we will not put the value of x is equal to a but otherwise we will put the value of a for example if i am taking here one question just to illustrate them limit x tends to 2 x square plus 2 by putting x is equal to 2 here uh, the value of x will be 2 square plus 2 that is 4 plus 2 is 6 and that will be answered. There is no harm in putting x is equal to 2 because by putting x is equal to 2 
none of these seven form will come here. So that is why we can put it easily. There is no problem at all. And we can put x is equal to 2 because x is very closer to 2. x is approaches to 2. So we can put the value of x is equal to 2. And there is no harm in doing that. But in the way by putting x is equal to value 2 and this will be going to be any one of the seven form then we will have to avoid it. For example another question if I am taking here that limit x tends to 2 and the function is given as x square minus 4 upon x minus 2. If I will put x is equal to 2 here then what will happen this will be 2 square minus 4 upon 2 minus 2 that is 4 minus 4 upon 2 minus 2 which is 0 by 0. So therefore because it is 0 by 0 is one of the 7 indeterminate form. So in that case we will not put x is equal to 2 here and we will we should avoid it and to avoid it what to do we can transform them or there are some other, other process in which you can uh, eliminate this form and thereafter whenever this form is removed we will put the value. How we can remove just let me just describe this limit x tends to 2 I can write this x square minus 2 square upon x minus 2 that can be written as limit x tends to 2 a square minus b square is a minus b into a plus b divided by x minus 2. Now x minus 2 and x minus 2 can cancel out and here what is left x tends to 2 x plus 2. Now the form is removed. If I put x is equal to 2 here there is no problem no harm at all. So 2 plus 2 is 4 and that will be answer of this question. So we have to put the value of limit until any one of the seven form will not come. If any one of the seven form will come then we will remove that form and thereafter whenever this form will be removed we will put the value of limit and for this removing this form one of the method is factorization and what I did here that is called factorization. I have made the factor of these two and um, one of them factor it cancels out and thereafter I have put the values. So here let me uh, try to solve some question from the exercise. This is uh, what the concept you have you need to learn from uh, limit. I have not uh, um, discussed it mathematically but very common layman way uh, it has been discussed so that people can understand it easily you will be able to understand it. So let us discuss some questions from the given uh, in your book and these are quite simple questions uh, let me explain this. So here is exercise 13.1. So let us solve questions from exercise 13.1 exercise 13.1 right. And the question, very first question from this exercise I am going to take on is uh, given that evaluate, evaluate all the questions right now. Here the first question is given that limit, it is written as LIM, LT or LIMIT, whatever you can write, you can write it. X tends to 3, the function is given X plus 3. In this question, if I put x is equal to 3, there is no harm and 3 plus 3 is 6. That will be answered. Right now. So these are simple questions just given for illustration. And here is also another question. Evaluate limit x tends to limit x tends to 0. X minus 22 by 7. So if I put x is equal to 0. Here what will happen 0 minus 22 by 7 is minus 22 by 7 and that will be answered right. So question number third is there and that is uh, limit x tends to limit x tends to pi x tends to 1 limit x tends to 1 pi r square pi r square is the function. So x 
not R tends to 1. So here limit is R. Function is variable is R. So R tends to 1. So if I put where pi into 1 square in place of R, we will put 1. And what is that? That is pi. So similarly, all these questions which is given here, the, all of them has to evaluate here. And the question number 4 is given that limit x tends to x tends to 4, 4x four plus 3 upon x minus 2. If I will put x is equal to 4, then what will happen? 4 into 4 plus 3 upon 4 minus 2, that is 16 plus 3, 19 by 2 and that will be the answer. Similarly, if there is a question like uh, question number 5 and it is given that limit x tends to minus 1 x tends to minus 1 and it is given here that x to the power 10 plus x to the power 5 plus 1 upon x minus 1 right if i will put the value of x is equal to minus 1 then that will be minus 1 to the power 10 plus minus 1 to the power 5 plus 1 divided by minus 1 minus 1 this is nothing else but 1 minus 1 to the power even is 1 and minus 1 plus 1 upon minus 2. This is 1 by minus 1 by 2 and that will be answer of this question. So these are EG1 and you can solve it. There is no problem at all. Whenever there is a function that uh, by putting the limiting value, there is no uh, form of indeterminate. So then you can put it directly. Now question number 6. Limit. It is given that limit x tends to 0, x tends to 0, x plus 1 to the power 5 minus 1 divided by x. If I put x is equal to 0, then here it will be 1 to the power 5, that is 1 minus 1, 0 and x is 0, so it will be form of 0 by 0. So we will not do this. In that case, what we will do? We will either transform them or we can use it uh, somewhere uh, by substitutions. So what I can do here, the best way to do this is uh, using a formula also we can do that. But method 1 I am telling that uh, you can do this like uh, solving this limit x tends to 0, 1 plus x to the power 5 page can be written as 1 plus 5 x 4 plus 10 x cubed plus 10 x square plus 5 x minus plus 1 minus plus x to the power 5 isn't it x to the power 5 minus 1 whole divided by x if i take this one one cancel then what will happen limit x tends to 0 and x I can take common then this will be 5x cube 5x cube isn't it 5x cube plus 10x square plus 10x plus 5 plus x to the power 4 whole divided by x x x cancels out now whenever now if I put x is equal to 0 then all of them will be 0, this will be 0, this will be 0 and only 5 is left. That will be answer of this question. But uh, this is not the way uh, in which you should do, deal with because if there is a 5 you can expand it somehow but if the power is 10 then how can you do that. So there is a formula and this formula is, uh, you should know that formula is x to the power n minus a to the power n upon x minus a when limit x tends to a that is n a to the power n minus 1. This is what the formula. So you can use it right now. There is a derivation as well but uh, no need to go for derivation. This is a formula which is very useful and you should use this formula whenever there is a question like this. So how to deal with this? try to understand. So method 2 I am going to deal here uh, for this question. Method 2. Limit x tends to x plus 1 plus x to the power 5 or x plus 1 to the power 5 whatever. 
x plus 1 to the power 5, right? It is given here minus 1 upon x. This is 0 by 0 form, so we can do it like limit x tends to 0. So x plus 1 tends to 1. 1 can be added both the sides. This is x plus 1 to the power 5 minus 1. Here x plus 1 minus 1 can be written. So this is in place of x and this is in place of a x to the power n minus a to the power n can be written as upon x minus a. So that is 5 a to the power n minus 1 that is 5 into 1 to the power 4 that is 5 answer. So we can write it like this and we can use this formula like this. Some other method also can be written here and what is that? Um, method 3, let me explain this. Method 3, you can do this like also. Here question is like limit x tends to 0, x plus 1 to the power 5 minus 1 upon x. Put x plus 1 is equal to y. We can put it x plus 1 is equal to y. When x tends to 0, then y tends to, y tends to, what will happen? When x tends to 0, then y tends to 1. This is also uh, one of the way in which you can deal with the questions y tends to 1. So this will be now the whole things can be changed like limit y tends to 1 x plus 1 is y so y to the power 5 minus 1 and x is of what y minus 1 y minus 1. Now this is in form of x y x to the power n minus a to the power n upon x minus a. So you can apply here formula 5 into 1 to the power 4 and that is 5. So this way also you can do this. There are three methods. You can choose any one of them according to your convenience and you can use any one of this formula. Right now? Any one of them. Now let us discuss some other questions. Uh, uh, we will use all 